So here we have a new streaming application giving you access to a very large library of movies and TV shows. Now, this application was updated in the last few days and with the new version, they've added in so much more content that you can enjoy on your Fire Stick, on your Android TV devices, absolutely free. The application doesn't require any kind of registration, no usernames, no passwords. It really does have a fantastic interface and I'm sure with all of this great free content, you'll be able to find something to watch. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. And we can see this application was updated on the 2nd of November. And the key thing with these official applications is because they keep getting regular updates, more new features, more new content, and just allows us to get the best from these official applications. And here we can see with Crackle, you can stream Hollywood movies, TV series, and lots of originals on all of your devices. You get to watch premium TV shows and movies from a complete full library. So lots of great content, all your favorite genres like comedy, drama, thriller, action, all of that stuff's in here. So that's what the application is. Let me now open this up for the first time. Now I'm doing my demonstration on the new third generation Fire TV Cube, but this application works perfectly fine on your Android TV devices, your Android phones and Android tablets. And I will show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get this on all of your devices. Now when the application starts, we can see we are in the home section. Here we can see some of the popular content. You have some originals, some TV series, different content in here. Let's go down. Now the great thing is with this application, even though it doesn't require any kind of sign in, no usernames, no passwords, it still supports continue watching. So what that means is you can open up an episode, open up a movie, and when you back out from the application, the next time you go back in, it will allow you to continue watching where you left off. And to have that feature without requiring any login, I think that's pretty impressive. Now we can see the new section, lots of different things in here. Uh, let's just try this one for a quick test. We get to see what content it is, who stars in there, a brief summary. I can click on watch now. Now certain episodes or certain movie shows will show you an advert before the content start. And that's basically how these applications, these official applications generate revenue. And we can see this one has a, a 15 second advert. Okay, and we're now into the content. So quick advert, let's fold that a bit. Just to show that's working and that's working fine. And we are straight into this movie. Let's back out of that. Let's go back again. Now, if I go back to the top, we can see the continue watching has now added this extra episode or this extra movie. So that's working fine. Then we've got the popular TV section. So different shows, different episodes in here. Lots of different things, popular movies. Now, one thing about the, the new to Crackle is they are constantly updating the library. So even if you have used this application before, it's always worthwhile going back into the application to see what new content has now been added. Here we have the action section. So different action movies and things in here. Then we've got comfort TV classics. We have British programs. We have black entertainment crime thrillers, true crime. So you can see guys, in terms of content, they really do have lots of different things in here. Here we have Rare TV. Uh, let's just try one of these. Uh, let's go this one here. Just to show you that it's not just one episode or one movie or one TV show. Everything inside this application is working, is working straight away. You click on something, give it a couple of seconds, and you are again straight into that content. Let's back out of that back again. Now we can also go to uh, movies and TV shows. So if you're interested in a certain type of content, you can go into that and then you'll see all of the main genres. So we can see them on the left. So if I'm only interested in um, fantasy based content, let's click on that. That will then show you all of the movies in that particular genre. And we can see the content in here. Let's go to the left. Let's go down into settings. Here, for example, you can enable things like closed captioning. You can enable trailers. 
You can also enable kids mode. So this way you can filter out the more mature content. Uh, mine is set to grown up mode. So you can customize that as you like. So that's most of the options there. Let's go to the left. Now where it says info sharing, I would click on this and select do not sell my personal information. I mean, you're not actually logging into the application. So there's no you know email addresses or anything like that. But just to make sure that nothing is shared or nothing is passed on, I would recommend going into this application, going to info sharing and make sure this option is enabled. Let's go back. And the last thing we can do is search. So if you're looking for something particular, uh, let's just say uh, Earth, and we can now see all of the content matching that particular search query. Let's try this one here. We are straight into that content. So overall guys, a great update to this free application. As you know, it doesn't require any kind of registration. It works great both on the Fire Stick and Android TV devices. Has a really nice layout. And with this new update, they have added in some great new content. So that's the application there. Let me now show you how you can get this on all of your devices. If you head over to settings, go to my Fire TV. Let's click on developer options. And where it says install unknown apps, let's click on that. And just make sure downloader is set to on. And this just means that we can download applications and install them. Once you've confirmed that, Let's now open up Downloader. Inside Downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go, or you can just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, let's click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this updated version of Crackle TV. Let's open that up. Here we are. So we can see this is the new November 2022 update. We can scroll down, see some information about the application, what devices it supports. And underneath all of that, we should have two links. So I like to leave the previous version on there in case there's some problem with some certain devices or compatibility issues. So if you scroll down, for me, I'm gonna click on this one. I can scroll down and click on this green download button here, and this will download the latest version directly onto your device. And just before you go, guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're thinking about changing your current VPN, IPVanish are now doing a crazy promotion for Black Friday, whereby you can get complete protection for unlimited devices at really fast speeds with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get total protection, to protect your privacy, to change your IP address, to make sure that nobody can watch what you're doing online, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. And the offer is only available for the next few days. So if you are looking for a great VPN, definitely do check out the link in the video description. So I really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.